Hello, it's Volt Firecore from the future. I always love doing these. They're always pretty fun to do. So, first of all, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of this type right here. You can take of that what you want. This type right here is going to... You're going to see it a lot inside this video, which is quite unfortunate. But Volt Firecore from the past, he pulls through. But anyways, I just want to warn you guys, there is a lot of sniffling inside of this video. I am very sorry. Um, I don't really have an excuse for it. It's not smoky here or anything at the moment, a little bit, but it's mostly just a nervous thing I do when I get really excited or I, I'm not even sure, but I'm really sorry since I don't really have a pop filter or I don't pull my head back when I do it. I kind of just put my face right up to it and start sniffing away. So really sorry about that. I need to collect my thoughts a lot more and try to uh, make them a little bit more enjoyable. So besides the sniffing guys, the, uh, the battles are pretty good. So keep on lookout for the rest of the video since it's pretty awesome. So let's get into this. What's up friends, it's Volt Firecore. Welcome back to Monotype Legends. Now we've done some pretty cool types, but this one is probably the most broken I have to say. This is pretty crazy. So as you saw by the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be taking a look at some Psychic Bros. This team's name is the Trailer Park Hippies, aka Mono Big Brain because it's a full psychic type team and you know, brain power. Why the hell do I have four inside of attack on my Alakazam? Okay, we can cover that later. Anyways, so this is the monotype um, psychic team called Trailer Park Hippies because you know, psychic type, they're all like, whoa, bruh, psychic powers, get my crystals out, all that kind of stuff. So let's get inside of this team preview. All right, the first mom we have is the Alakazam. And as you can probably tell, this Alakazam is gonna have expanding force. If we're doing a monotype psychic team, you have to put on expanding force. It's a crazy move that I'm pretty sure gets buffed up 1.5. Yep, and psychic train. Absolutely insane. It's pretty comparable just to psychic. So literally no reason not to use it, even if you don't have the psychic train. It's still strong as hell. But, of course, we gotta put up a Psychic Terrain user, which luckily is also a Psychic type. But first, we have the Magic Guard um, Life Orb Alakazam. Usually, I like to run the whole uh, boring set with the Focus Sash, but I actually decided I wanted to run this. Now, I was gonna do a Nasty Plot set with the Expanding Force, but I didn't really feel like doing another Setup Mon. Actually, I, I don't really have that many Setup Mons, so... Eh. One second, one second. All right, sorry about that. I had to switch out, um, what was it? Energy ball? No, shadow ball. I didn't feel like I needed shadow ball personally at the moment, but does in the game, of course, for those dark types, if there is a dark type on the team. So I think actually a nasty plot would be better. Glad I made that change. As you also saw, I had a, a minus defense nature. So that's probably why inside of my testing, I kept dying to really basic attacks like tackle. But of course, Magic Guard negates the um, defect or debuff of Life Orb. So we're going to be doing a lot right here. Of course, on a Mono Psychic type team, we have to have a Terrain Extender Psychic Surgeon Didi. This is the male version since I prefer the uh, um, less bulky set. I like how the female looks since it has like the droopy ears and looks a little cuter. This one kind of has like devil horns. I'm not going to diss it since it's pretty cool looking. Well, still cool looking, but... This one's faster and has more offensive stats, which I think is a little bit better. Of course, there's also a normal type, so this is going to be our main switch in for um, Shadow Ballers and Ghost type users, since that is a very scary mod. As you can also see, I have a lot of uh, Dazzling Gleams, since Mono Dark, at least from my um, observations, has been quite prevalent. But we have Energy Ball, Mystical Fire, Dazzling Gleam, and Expanding Force. There's probably better attacks like Hyper Voice or something, but I decided I wanted to have Energy Ball, since that's the only... Uh, thing to hit. I don't have electric. Yeah, I don't think I have any electric besides one other mon, so I decided to put energy ball on for the waters and the grounds and all that. Mystical fire, always a good attack, and expanding force and dazzling. Next, we have a physical attacker. Of course, I had to put one physical attacker on, or else we're just going to get walled by a defensive wall like Mantine or Chansey or something like that. So, of course, I had to put some bulk on this, and I decided I wanted to have the um, Galarian Rapidash with the Psychic Seed. Now, Psychic Seed is a, um, I don't know if it's actually good. I just didn't really want to run Band or Life Orb since I already had a uh, large variety of Life Orb mons. So 
I decided to run the Psychic Seed since it's cool. You get some special defense, I guess. Maybe you can live a Shadow Ball. I got some bulk, <laughs> four bulk instead of special defense, so hopefully. Anyways, we have Pastel Veil, which I'm assuming just works on you. It says this Pokemon and its allies can't be poisoned, but I assume that's just a doubles thing. Um, we are a jolly nature, and we are going to plow through the competition with Play Rough Zen Headbutt, Wild Charge, and High Horsepower. Now, I just want you guys to know, High Horsepower off of this Mon is pretty crazy inside of Psychic... No, <laughs> Zen Headbutt is pretty crazy. I have um, done some uh, some crazy damage to some Mons that I did not expect to take that crazy damage. So a very strong Mon here, and uh, definitely good to have on our mostly special attacking team. Speaking of special attackers, we have the Sigilyph, which... It has Heat Wave, it has Dazzling Gleam, Roost, along with Expanding Force. I think you're catching a, a trend now, a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, I actually had a bunch of trouble going against Mono Ghost teams and stuff, so as long as we don't go against Mono Ghost, I actually won every single Mono Ghost battle I, like I did, but still, it's... Uh, would have been preferred if I got more fighting types or poison types. I don't think people run Mono Poison usually, but I want something easy. I don't usually get the easy sets. But Expanding Force, Death Zone, Gleam, Heat Wave, and Roost. Um, this is another Magic Guard Mon, so we don't take damage from Stealth Rocks, which is very good on this Flying type. And the Life Orb, of course, gets negated as well. Or the debuff. Galade with the Choice Scarf is perfect. Um, I literally see no reason not to run Choice Scarf Galade. It is a beautiful mod and I really enjoy using it especially on this team as you can see he has some very good stats and I gave him the speed uh, I don't think it outspeeds actually no I th think it outspeeds Dragapult I think yeah yeah it, it does I've I'm pretty sure you get to like 447 or something because I remember outspeeding some Dragapults so that's good <laughs> Dragapult answer right here since I have some trouble fighting that thing I fought one Dragapult, which was a, um, a, like a weird mix set. It was like full attack or something, and it went for a U-turn on my Ndidi, and it fucking died. Or maybe Ndidi's just not that defensive, but still, like, good god, just a U-turn? <laughs> that was basically all he did. He didn't even Shadow Ball, he just U-turned around. But anyways, back to the Galate. It is always good to have a fighting type on a Mono Psychic type team, since you need that for the Dark types. And we also have Justified, so if someone... You know, inadvertently lowers our stat by going for like a moon blast and we live or something like that. There we go. Uh, close combat psycho cut since I don't want to miss. Stone edge for the flyers and then poison jab since don't really have anything else for the fairies. You know, maybe people will stay in on galley. They'll be like, aha, I can hit you with that uh, psychic or fairy type attack and kill you. But no, I have my poison jab. And finally, we have the, the legendary stealth rocker for the team. I kind of needed a stealth rocker. It wasn't like paramount to the team being epic, but you know, since I also have a justified mon, if someone wants to bring defog, that's fine. But this is something that people actually started using instead of OU, the whole stealth rock meteor beam set. As you can see, this mon has prism armor with some pretty good stats. So with the power herb, he can fire off a meteor beam. And if he's faster than the rest of the team or the rest of the opponent's team, you can kind of just click Expanding Force, since that's a, that's a stab Expanding Force with that amount of special attack. And you also have the buff to it with the uh, Meteor Beam. I don't know is if like it's better to be timid. I assume Modest is just going to be better. Um, you know, how much do you get up to? Is it really like important? 180, one second. Alright, on a closer inspection, I'm going to be running a Timid Nature due to the uh, ability to outspeed Chandelure with a Modest Nature. So that's pretty cool. Let's get inside the battles with this team. Also, I hope you guys like the background. Oh, spectators? Yeah, I want spectators. Yeah, I hope you like the background. It's new. It's just some uh, watercolor. It's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. So I just really want some cool type to go against. Again, come on, man, come on. <laughs> well, I've I've had success, and of course we also have the Chandelure. So, Necrozma, I'm believing in you, man. Wait, I think I went against this dude before, or a team very similar with the uh, with the Polter Poltygeist. 
Luckily, he has no Dragapult, which I am Praisen. That means Alakazam is faster than everything else. But then, then again, he has a bunch of Shadow Sneak Mons, like three Mons and, uh, of course, the uh, Poltegeist. Mm, I'm feeling like going into Gallade lead. I kind of just like that. But then again, he could, he could just Shadow Ball me, so Indeed are looking kind of nice. I'm going to go into Indeedy. Alright, he starts off with the Chandelure, which is... It's not horrible. But then again, do I have really a, uh, a counter to switch into any of its attacks? Mm, probably not. But do I want to save this thing? Definitely want to. But then again, it could be Scarf. Yeah. Okay, lives at two, and the Flamethrower is going to kill us. Alright, so I have a feeling that's... Spectacles, a slight feeling, but now I can just go into the Sigilith, no, I think I should go into Necrozma, I would, I would, hmm, you know, I always have these kind of things, I always have these um, situations where I'm very confused about what to do next, but I'll just go for the, uh, the good old expanding force here. And now I get Shadow Sneaked to the Nether Realm. Just, it's going to be a constant flow of just being Shadow Sneaked. Alright, so he finds my Life Orb, which is kind of rude. Am I going to live a Shadow Sneak from a Gorgeist? Like, I've seen the whole Bandit set for Gorgeist, and I really don't like it. It's kind of, it's kind of brutal. Very brutal. So I could go into Necrozma here, and I'm going to assume Necrozma is going to be able to live two of these. It has Prism Armor. And it's pretty bulky, so... Did main... Oh, main man, Jerry man just went for... <laughs> I'm an idiot, I forgot the psychic terrain was up. Alright, that's good on my part, and I'm going to um, accept that all the way. So, expanding force here. Slightly strange play, sir. Slightly strange. Like, pretty strange. But, you know, I'm not going to diss you for it. Uh, I could just go for the meteor beam here, but I'm actually going to save it. Yep, I'm going to live that due to my prism armor. And there we go. There's the Gengar. So now the rest of his mons are extremely slow. He has the Mimikyu. Like, I'm just going to go for the Expanding Horde here. Okay, was faster than me. And I'll just go into my Alakazam or... Mm, man, man. Okay, Model Ghost is just not looking too good right now. I am... So far, not having the most fun I've ever had. Go for the wild charge here. Unfortunately, I think that gives me a little bit of chip damage. It doesn't. And good god, okay. Pretty sure that mattered since Mimikyu is kind of a weakling. And he's going to be able to spam Shadow Sneak on the rest of my moms, which is going to be extremely painful. But it's fine because I have access to Gallade over here which hopefully can live that. But I'll just go into this and expanding force. Yeah, he's he's saving this no matter what. Man, I really wish I ah, could have nasty plotted or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Do I just want to give up here or do I want to continue? Eh, you know. Not a big fan of giving up. So we do like a good 13 there. And he's just going to iron head me. Okay. So it seems main man over here is a... I want to say especially defensive set. But again, this is an Aegislash. slash. Okay, bro. <laughs> I am magic guard. So you can just kill me now. Just, just kill me. That's perfectly fine. Um, since he doesn't have Shadow Sneak, I think I'll just go into Sigilith since he's running some kind of, some kind of weird thing. I'll just go for the Heat Wave here. Okay, taking out the Age of Slash, which is nice. <laughs> but of course, the, um, the Shadow Sneakers are coming in. So I'm just going to start up the next battle since I really have a feeling on what's going to happen next here. Yep, here's the Mimikyu. What's up? Nice to see ya. Um, I'm going to go for the Heat Wave here. Shadow Sneak? Yep. Am I going to miss? I don't. Okay, Mono Poison. This is exactly what I wanted. 
We'll continue with this, though. Get that nice burn. Nice burn. I'll roost you off in your, uh, your evil tendencies. Right, Gorgeist. Yeah. Yeah. I'll continue it. I'm, I'm going to keep fighting. Fighting to the very end. Stone Edge here. Goodbye. All right. Here's the battle. Here is the battle that actually matters. We have an Indeedee, which I kind of just want to go lead with, since I can kind of just go for the expanding force on every single Mon. I also could go in a Necrozma, but I'm just going to go Indeedee. If he wants to go lead Salazzle or something like that and try to Toxic me, he does, since he is probably just going to uh, stall out to this electric terrain or all that stuff. Um, so I think I'll go into my Sigilith here. Okay, he ends up going into the stun tank, which is fine. I expected him to toxic, so I wanted to, you know, use my magic guard. But it's fine. Mm. How much is this Dazzling gonna do? Do I have another play? Actually, I have Rapidash here. Yeah, I'll just go into Rapidash. I keep forgetting that that thing's also a uh, fairy type. So I think I could go into that and then high horsepower. Get that, uh, special defense he actually taunts me could have done some good damage right there but i'll just high horsepower nice and he'll poison jab me you know i'll take that sir and i'm actually gonna play rough here just in case he wants to go into the we yep okay so i do get it unless i miss nice so we get that um damage that means literally nothing but you know that's fine. I will just go into my Necrozma here. <laughs> Fire Blast. Main man was trying to end my life. Hmm. I think the Stealth Rocks is more important here, since I don't think that's Heavy Duty Boots Salazzle, and I can switch out if I want. Yeah, Stun Tank. Definitely trying to do something right now. And I am Prism Armor. So I will just Heat Wave here. So he's gonna defog those away, along with my um my terrain. But there goes his uh, <laughs> there goes his switch into my psychic attacks. So I think my Alakazam kind of just wins now, since yeah Alakazam is faster. I can just literally psychic the rest of his mon. So I think that's kind of just GG right now. I'm actually gonna meteor beam here. Swords dance. Okay. So he's probably Sash. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Speed boost along with it. Okay, I do not have any form of priority, so that is a um like I guess priority inside of psychic train isn't really too smart, but still this is this is pretty scary. Necrozma, you gotta you gotta live, buddy. Necrozma, you didn't you didn't live, man. Oh man, okay, I was for a second there kind of expecting uh, a better result, but you know. It's fine. I have Gallade right here. Sigilyph right here. I th think Sigilyph will probably take it better. I'm going to go Gallade here, and I'm going to hope that his X Scissor, or whatever he goes for, is not going to kill me. It's normal damage. So, I know Scullaby is pretty, um... Hmm. Okay. Well, how much did that do? I'm pretty sure that... Best matchup? Definitely a good matchup for me. I I will take that. Um, Yeah, it, it did 50. I really don't want to deal with that. So, I think I'll just go into the sickle up here if he wants to strength sap. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't affect me in the slightest. Because <laughs> I have uh, my heat wave here. Actually, my expanding force does more. Dragology, he's just like switching out and uh, accepting this damage. I certainly hope you are a scarf set. Those are pretty heat, but I don't think your team, um, it would be scarf that. I actually don't know if you have a scarfer. You know, the team composition of monotype usually is 
a little wonky. Sometimes you get some crazy teams, like of course a monotype rock team would probably have four ups of stealth rock and all that. Um, I'm just getting expanding force here, because unless I flinch, yeah, there goes the threat. There goes the threat. Now I'm just gonna sack my Sigilef, and then I'm gonna go into my Ndidi, and then I'm going to kill you. Yeah, because I, I, I'm just going to take you out right now. <laughs> An expanding force will be my way of doing so. If he wants to sub, that's fine. I'll just keep breaking his sub. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll go into Alakazam here since he'll probably protect. It seems like the uh, protect set. No, he'll just sludge wave me. Alright, that's fine. Whatever, I'll just keep going for the expanding force. Okay. I also forgot that I was faster than him, so I suppose that's um, good too. Yeah, kind of expected this to be the outcome. So, um... GG. GG, Holmes, GG. Alright, so there's that. Looking, um, kind of bad inside of the, uh, the point, <laughs> the point department. But I've never been too high, so if you're here, for oh my, come on, come on! I get poison, which I feel bad for. Can I just get a normal one, like, like, like rock, or like ice? Oh my god! And this dude's using all the priority dudes again. All right, Dragapult's gonna kill me. I got like no way to deal with Dragapult besides my Gallade. So I'm just gonna go in DD over here. I think I just need to try to stop priority as much as possible. Poltergeist Antique. You are walled, good sir. Okay, guys, so this is going to be really hard to believe, but I've actually been instead of a battle, not with this dude, but with around the same Mons, with the exact same outcome. It was lead one Poltergeist. I went for uh, my DD Expanding Force, and I crit him. Now, I don't think it mattered. I really don't. But I'm just going to go for the... Um... Mystical Fire, that would be times two. This is just plus, yeah, this is more. Hail. Okay, so you're gonna disable me. Like that kind of guy. There's no way in hell I'm going to deal with any kind of damage towards me. I don't see any reason to have uh, my Rapid Ash over here. I'll let my Psychic Train buff up my Special Defense or something. I can just die. <laughs> Aurora Veil, you know, that's fine, man. That's fine. I don't really care. You'll just blizzard. Nice. Am I gonna get frozen now? Okay. Well, now I'm just going to waste turns of Aurora Veil since I'm not too worried about anything else. Or I'm not too worried about the Aurora Veil. Uh, Mimikyu, you slower than me, bro. And I'm going to hit you with a Zen Headbutt. <sighs> bro! Dude, come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? If I'm being perfectly honest, that was a stupid play to go for a move that could have missed, but... Bruh. <laughs> Alright, I gotta save that uh, Ndidi at all costs. So, is Sigilith important here? He's not too important. I don't see too much of a... Like, he could have the Sableye with the Prankster. That would be kind of annoying. I got Necrozma over here. I think I'll just go Sigilith. I think that's probably the most useless. Well, the Rapidash could have done something. Could have taken this dude out and then I could have done some good damage. But, you know, I'm going to go for the Dazzling right here. Since I don't really need to do damage to it, do I? Main man over here is going to SD. It's pretty strange. And then I'll go for the Expanding Force. Doing 20. Alright, alright. So, he's the Life Orb set. Hmm. Alright. Now, it's kind of just a matter of, um... Stalling out his Aurora Veil. And, uh... He's just gonna play rough me here. So... Yep, that's fine. You go ahead and take me out, bruh. Because now, I really hope Alakazam can finish him off. I really hope he can. Since I'm gonna need my Necrozma to go for the Meteor Beam on the Dragapult. Hopefully living something... I'm just going to go into Alakazam here. 
and I assume we're going to be able to kill with the expanding force. I could go for the poison jab on the Mimikyu. That would probably be the smarter play. But again, that's my, uh, it's kind of important. Wait a minute. It. I don't know if Mimic <laughs> is poison. Yeah, poison is not very effective. Or. Yeah. Okay, luckily it kills. <laughs> luckily it kills. I can't believe I made a, a play like that. Um, well, luckily I'm also Scarf. Luckily he's also Scarf. <laughs> Okay. Whew. Going to the Necrozma here. And, um, expanding force. We don't die. Expected. Now I can just go into the Dragapult. And that is going to be GG. Yep. Yep, yep. I accept it. Wish I was Scarfed, but, you know, you're Dragon Darts too, so... Really? Really? Alright, main man. Alright. Hopefully I can just get a different type. Come on. Come on. Okay, mono fire. There we go. This is fine. Fire versus me. That's perfectly fine. I can also buff up my mystical fires if I really need a... If I really need to go for them, which I don't really think I'm... Sorry about that. I need to. Uh, Galate here with the Stone Edge is going to... Um, clobber if I can hit my attacks since he doesn't have any chlorophyll users of course since I don't think a grass fire type exists but uh, I think I'll just go into my I like Rapidash lead I kind of do I also like Meteor Beam Necrozma just fire something off so that can be my play kind of want to save him though I think I'll just go into my Rapidash it doesn't really do too much. I just kind of wanted to use it since it's pretty. The Incineroar comes out and is going to be able to go for the uh, the knockoff and all that. Uh, this is a problem. <laughs> but I'll just go for the uh, the high horsepower here, doing some pretty bad damage. Taunt, really, really. All right, I'm actually gonna wild charge here. Yeah. You know, you always gotta make those plays since you're just gonna die to begin with. I'm high horsepower here. Yeah, I actually could have killed him if I just high horsepowered, I think, but it's fine. We're inside of a situation right now where I can just go into my Ndidi, go for the Dazzling Gleam, I think. I'm just gonna go Ndidi here. I don't think he's Scarf. Well, of course he's not, since he went for Taunt, and I'll just go for the Dazzling. If he wants to save that, that's fine. All of his mons are pretty slow. <laughs> yep, set up that Psychic Train. And now we kind of just clobber him. We have this abomination of a name. Uh, Tsukishima. Tsukishima. Don't know who that is. I really don't. Mm. I'm just gonna expanding force here. Does less damage than I have uh, probably ever seen a move do. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Mm. Do I want to just set up those rocks? I kind of want to abuse my psychic train first before I do that. So I could just go in Alakazam here and proceed to go for the Expanding Force. Which I think I will do, since I think this dude has a higher chance of killing than his um, than his brethren. He also can't Sucker Punch, which this dude doesn't get. He gets Knock Off, Power Whip, Coil. Alright, we're able to Expanding Force him. And the rest of his team probably just gets clobbered by this. Hopefully we can... Uh, I have a psychic. Oh my god. Okay, Scarfy. Scarfy, I am assuming. Which is fine. I am um, not going to let this dude take unnecessary damage. So I'll just go into Sigilef here. So he will just U turn out. Okay. Expected as much. So we have a uh, Tanka. So he's a tanker. He doesn't really look like a tanker. He looks more like a threat. Since 
Psychic, you all probably know this, is a fairly frail type. Most of these mons do not have the best defenses. Which is why Necrozma is pretty dank. I also could have put something on like... Uh, Bronzong, or Claydol, or something like that. But he's probably thinking of his play right now and who he wants to go into. He ends up going into the, um, initially, I'm not even gonna, I don't even care. I'm not even gonna try to. He can just go for that heat wave. That's fine. I'm just going to expanding force. I'm actually going to yawn me. I, trying to uh, pull those kind of plays. I'm gonna go into Necrozma here. Set up those rocks. It's time, man. It's time. I'm gonna Meteor Beam you into the sky. Nah, I think I'll actually save my Meteor Beam for uh, Darmanitan. <laughs> yeah. Since I don't think U-Turn on him is going to kill me. Goes into this, dude. Um, I think Expanding Force would kill, but I'm gonna Meteor Beam just in case. Unless we're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, if he's Scarf, that's pretty much game, but I'm gonna go into the Gallade here and hopefully um, hit him with <laughs> my Stone Edge. He is Scarf. Alright, fair enough. That is another um, Crop Knop game. Yeah, there's no way we can win that. Let's move on to the next one. Might be the last one, might not. Kind of depends. Mono fighting. You know, I don't know why I can't just get something normal. But, you know, this is another game where I think Alakazam kind of puts in that work. But I will just go... Um, he'll probably just go Leader Shifu or something. So let's go Rapidash. I kind of like that as a play. That hits most things. Cobalion, or Cobaline, however you want to pronounce his strange name. I'll go for that high horsepower. Ah, this dude's bulky. You know, you go ahead and do that. I'm not going to switch out since, you know, I can just go for other things. I just kind of want, I just kind of want him at a point where I can take him out normally. This mon kind of just a throwaway most of the time like it's fast but it doesn't really accomplish what i need it to accomplish so since he took that much i assume he's physically defensive so i could just go into my um gallade here and go for the close combat which i think i will do go for that punchy punchy <laughs> so now he probably knows that i'm scarfed which you're probably gonna watch out for Okay, Kamo O, horrifying, terrifying. Does he have that move? Does, does that move still do things? I think it does. <laughs> hmm. Do we just straight up lose if he goes for that disturbingly powerful move? Yeah, probably. Would be better to save my Gallade. No, because I kind of like him. So I'm gonna go into Indeedy here, and I'm going to hope he doesn't go for that crazy move because if he does, I'm probably gonna die. Guys, he went for the crazy move. And, um, he seems to be throat, throat, throat spray. <laughs> Alright. So, I still think I'm faster with my Alakazam. Oh, I'm definitely faster with my Gallade, so that's fine. Mm, I'm gonna say this mom's a throwaway at the moment. Okay, you lost some defense. I'm just going to go into the Gallade right here. You have normal defense. I'm pretty sure I can just kill you with the, um, the Psycho Cut. Never mind. You are actually faster than me at this point. Okay, obviously I don't know how calculations go, so I'm pretty sure that's just going to end it. Right there. Literally right there. Man. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I got fucked up. He's gonna live this. Is he giving me a chance or something? I assume that's a chance. And I will take the chance. 
Okay, another scarfer. Are you scarfed too? Oh, okay. Another battle. Shifu, are you scarf? No? Well, that's all it takes. <laughs> okay. So here's our next opponent. And the final one for the video. Yeah. I thought I was going to lose there, but he went for Clinger Soul Blaze. Is he going to tell me that was like a, a misclick or something? Nope. Okay. I expect that was a misclick. Alright. Could just go lead indeed here. I like it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Alright, lead in DD versus Beware. He's pulling them, them, them stonks. Might be Scarfed or something. I'm just going to go for Expanding Force here. Okay. There goes the Beware. Probably just sacking it at the beginning as a power move. We're going to the Erenguru. Orenguru. Oranguru. However you want to pronounce it. Battle was forfeited. Man. Okay. It's either we're getting Mono Ghost. Mono Grass. Okay, this is going to be the last one for the game. <laughs> or for the for the day. Yeah. I see a huge desire to lead off with Rapidash, expecting his Zerud, but I can also like that Mon. But then again, it's also weak as hell. So, I'm just going to go lead, since it does everything I need it to do. He doesn't end up going Zerud, so I can hit that, quote-unquote, hit that play rough. <laughs> Hoping I actually do hit the play rough. He could just go into the Tangrowth right now. Free. Literally free. Gets that U-turn off. <laughs> That's fine, bro. Just go into your Tangrowth, or just go into your Rillaboom. That works too. Yeah. Tang, this is going to be a... I'm going to say that's physically defensive. Well, it's not AV, so... I'm going to say it's physically defensive. Hmm. I could just go into the Sigilith here. Unless he knocks me off. Did this Mon do something? I think Gallade can deal with the Zerud, so I think I'll just um, play rough again. This Earthquake does... Literally nothing. Go into the Sigilith here. <laughs> Seems like an obvious play, but... You know. Okay, he's a mix set. That's fine, I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to boost up. Your Celebi comes out. Which... I think I'll just hit with a Heat Wave. Like, if you have the Wave, you should probably just go for the Wave. Knowing Celebi, this is probably a fully specially defensive set and it's gonna do like 33 sets of the rocks in my damn face and he's not a specially defensive set all right all right i'm gonna go for another heat wave here while well, he'll probably just sack this thing <laughs> of course no rapid spinners but i got some some flyers some magic guard users so i'm not too worried go for another heat wave here it is like stealth i mean stone edge or something like that I don't really know what Celebi gets on the uh, on the physical side. Yeah, kind of expected. And I'm able to hit my second Heat Wave. So there goes the Celebi. And he can just go Zerud or Tin over here. Which, you know, I see no reason for him not to just go for the U-Turn or Tin. So I'll sack my Rapid Dash here. Darkest Illidiot. Gallade. And I will go for the CC here. If he wants to U-turn, that's fine. I'm just going to get that damage off. Even though it's Tangrowth, pretty sure it'll two-shot it. Actually, I take that back. It'll, like, it's probably back at full now due to Regenerator. <laughs> Rotom, though. Alright. Is everything Leftovers? Man, every single time I see Leftovers, I just... I just don't know what to think. Um... I could just go into Necrozma here. I think he can eat most hits. I'll probably just end up Volt switching out. So... I'm going to go into Necrozma here. 
on his Volt Switch. If he leaves Storms, that's fine. He actually ends up Pain Splitting. <laughs> like, I got Heat Wave, so I'm just going to go for it. Most of these mons have really strong attacks, so I'm going to... Well, Fire Coverage, which is nice. So I have to say, probably a bad matchup for him, but then again, he has a bunch of knockoff users and things like that. Since, of course, he has Zerud, but he also has the Rillaboom, which I'm still waiting for. And uh, for the record, uh, Grassy Glide does not get countered instead of um, Psychic Train, because it's not a priority move. It only becomes a priority move inside the Grassy Train. So it can still be used, and it's still a 70 or 80 base power grass type move off of Big Rilla. So not going to be making any hard switches or stuff like that. All right, so I will leave this game, leave this game, and let's see what he's going to switch into. As you also can see, I have Elisa as my uh, character at the moment, since I am preparing for that. I'll probably like U-turn or something. Hmm. Okay, okay. Now that one was strange. Well, there goes Big Rotom. That kind of sucks. If he wants to go Zerud, I have a feeling Darkest Lariat is not going to kill me. So I'm just going to Heat Wave here. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's not nice. That That is not nice. <laughs> that is not nice. I'm going to fire off the Meteor Beam just to be a, a nice person. Just in case he does end up missing something. But I can just go into Gallade here. Are, are, are we going to win this game without even going for, like, a Psychic-type attack? Okay, Big Tangy. You're taking some... You, you, you're taking some mad damage. You can go ahead and leave Storm that in DD. Actually, I see no reason not to go sick, Sickle up here. Giga Drain. Mm, I'm just going to go for Heat Wave. Okay, you were full physically defensive. You did not even care. <laughs> okay, this dude, which, if you're adamant, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to roost. Yeah, you can just go ahead and take me out, man. Because I still got my Gallade, and I still haven't set up my Psychic Terrain yet. So I'm going to take this as an opportunity to just uh, go for the Poison Jab here, actually. <laughs> yeah. Poison jab. Big Rill is probably going to take a bunch from it. Lilligant, I don't really know what it's going to do. But now we wait, and I think I'll probably just get the team up so we can do that final look at it. Oh boy, there's all my epic teams. <laughs> One last time. So, to go through all the mons, we have Big Alakazam, which became a nasty plot set, which I didn't click once. Probably would have been better as a Focus Asher, since could have won a lot of games doing that. We have the Ndidi, which was the glue to the team. Gotta make sure I actually clicked a move. Yeah. The Rapidash, which did literally nothing besides, like, a good lead for Dark Types and that kind of stuff. It's weak as hell. No wonder it's PU, but I like using it there. The Sigalith with the Expanding Force, Dazzling Gleam, and all that. Oh, he, he did something. Thank you! Thank you. Wait a minute. You were scarfed to begin. You were scarfed to begin with. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, your sash. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, home fry. I'm just gonna go in um in DD right now. Get rid of that uh, psychic. I think you're slower than me, homeboy. I'm gonna go for expanding force here. Do a bunch of damage to you. And you're just gonna drop that fucking wood hammer on me. <laughs> Alright. We'll wait for the uh, points to adjust so I can see at the end. Anyways, uh, Sigalith Magic Guard did quite a bit. Still a very bulky mon. Uh, recently, it just got banned to RUBL, so no longer an RU mon. Definitely a UU threat, I suppose. Justified Gallade with the Choice Scarf. Top tier. We needed it. And the Necrozma, which with uh, the Prism Armor, was able to take those hits very easily. Especially some very uh, necessary ones to take. 
But anyways, guys, that's the team. You can uh, use it if you want. Please, please just switch out the Rapidash for something. Do like uh, something else. I don't know, a ghost counter. Another one. Or something to deal with Dragapult. But what are the points looking like? The points are looking pretty good. Almost inside the uh, 1300s, but that is still pretty bad. Still pretty bad, but you know, I'll take what I can get. I'm actually going to check out the monotype ladder. I very rarely check out the ladders since they usually just make me feel bad. But the monotype ladder is probably inside the 1800s. I was right. Yeah. So if I get to uh, 1500s, uh, a lot of people are just stuck at that 1500 mark. Like, just like gaining a little bit of points kind of just puts you inside of like top 300. And you don't really need that much. There's a big clog right here. So, yeah. If you get to like um, 1600, you get... Yeah, 1600, you get to be like top 40 or something like that. <laughs> but that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the Psychic Monotype. Please comment the type you want to see down below. And if you don't, I'll probably do another very epic type. Maybe a, uh, I don't know. I don't want to give a spoiler or any kind of hint since I don't even know what I'm going to do. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching and keep on the lookout for my videos.